This is not just a political fight. This is not just a policy fight. This is a legislative battle about the soul of our nation. It's a battle to ensure the future generations of Americans, our children and grandchildren, have a financial safety net when they retire. Older Americans will not be left on the sidelines. This is our battle. We will win it because right and might is on our side. Our members make great warriors for this battle because we fully appreciate the importance of Social Security, the nation's single largest source of retirement income. Our members are committed to making certain their children and grandchildren understand what they will be giving up in exchange for the risky private accounts being touted by President Bush. Social Security keeps people out of poverty. Social Security lets people retire with peace of mind. Social Security gives benefits to survivors and helps people with disabilities live with dignity. People know what Social Security is about. Their parents and their grandparents get a check every month. They know that they as a child may have been able to get through school because of Social Security. The moral test of government is what we do to those in the dawn of life, our children, those in the twilight of life, the elderly, and those in the shadows of life, the poor, the sick, and the disabled. Will privatizing Social Security help our nation care for the widow and the orphan? No. Will cutting Medicare or food stamps give deliverance to the poor and the needy? No. Will giving tax breaks to the wealthy promote the common good? No. The answer is no. They will only serve to further increase the obscene number of people who live in poverty in our nation. It's a foolish gamble, and women aren't buying it. Is anybody else buying it? Do you want to turn your retirement security over to Wall Street? Do you want to give up guaranteed benefits for risky privatization? No! Do you want to saddle your children and mine with $5 trillion of debt? No! America's families know better. They know that privatization means deep cuts in benefits. They know privatization means a deeper debt for America. And they know that privatization doesn't make Social Security stronger. No. The president and his surrogates have been on the road for 60 days. They've been trying to sell his plan, and it hasn't worked. Soon there won't be any Americans who support his plan for Social Security. The president has been on the road for 60 days selling this privatization plan, and it's like a fish, a dead carp lying on the beach in the sand for 60 days. At first, it seems to shine. But the closer you get to it, the more it stinks. For over 70 years, Social Security has been the most popular and successful program in our nation's history. And we are not going to stand idly by and allow the president's privatization schemes to enrich Wall Street investors at the expense of future retirees, future retirees, the disabled, widows, widowers, and orphans. We the people, we the people don't live on Wall Street. We live on Main Street. And we are not going to allow Social Security to be destroyed. Democrats, as you have seen, are seeing, and will see, are absolutely united in opposition to the Republican plan to privatize one of the most important programs this country has ever adopted. We're going to fight, you're going to fight, and we will be together. Yeah. Yeah. We're 
going to stop you, Bush, dead in your tracks. We have the support, the support of the American people, and we have the power. And we won't back down, back away, or back out. We're in this thing till the end. We, and we're not going to let President Bush and the Republicans weaken the most successful social program in the history of the world. <laughs> Democrats in the Congress won't back down, and the American people will not. United, we stand to protect Social Security. Yeah.